So the only potential problem would be any, like, ground types. But then we've got um, yeah. Torterra for that. Hey, buddy. What are you doing here? He was like, Go home. I work on my body. Okay, buddy. You're six. <laughs> Literally six. <laughs> you are six years old, brother. Aw, Bweasel. Well, it's so dead. It's so dead. Aw, that's cute. Aqua Jet. <laughs> but death instantly so, someone that took a photo of me at npc yeah. like i had no idea who it was but they like it's someone i interact with a lot on twitter oh they didn't introduce themselves huh but i was like they asked for a photo and i was like oh yeah sick cool. yeah all right man i was like okay <laughs> yes all right bet sheesh <laughs> Battle! Battle start! <laughs> Fisher Walter. I don't know if I've ever told you this, but do you know what the two funniest Japanese Pokemon names are? No. It's Magma and Umbreon. Okay. M Magma is Booba. Let's go. <laughs> because of the, the head. Oh! <laughs> And Umbreon is Blackie. <laughs> like Buraki. Buraki. Because in early black and white, there's a there's a like an Umbreon episode where the, oh. where Meowth pretends to be Umbreon. That's right. And um, he's just like Meowth pretends to be Meowth. Blackie. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is asking for trouble. But yeah, it's like Buraki and Booba. I feel like I remember like a lot of the evolution names are a bit silly in Japanese. Funny Japanese Pokemon names. Let's let's have a look. Why are you what? I've traveled all over the globe. This is the gym I've chosen. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Mandy Buzz. What is it? <laughs> Volgina. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Volgate. Volgina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Gotta love that's only female as well. Mandy Buzz. Yeah. A Abra's, Abra's, um, Japanese name is Casey. <laughs> Casey. Godwar is Sir Knight. Sir Knight. I knew that. Because Diantha has one. is just Ghost. Ghost! The Ghost and Ghostu. Ghost. Yeah, Ghost. Go Ghosto. Ghosto. Fire, Thunder, and Freezer. Yeah, I know. I like that. Yeah, Fire, Thunder. <laughs> ho ho. <laughs> ho ho. Sand. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Sleep and sleeper. Yep. Buraki. <laughs> Buraki. Ooh, Aurora Beam. Sheesh. <laughs> Dumba. <laughs> Dumba. <laughs> yeah, booby, booba, and booburn. <laughs> booby, boober, and booburn. <laughs> and then Volgina as the number one. Volgina, <laughs> yep. The only female Mandibuzz, Volgina. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. <laughs> oh shit. Damien, go home, brother. Go home to your wife. I also forgot that, like, Charmeleon's name is L Rizard. Yeah. It's just Lizard. Rizardon. <laughs> and that's Charizard. Charizard is Rizardon. The, 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 the Japanese names for the Pokemon, like, as a general rule, are pretty fucking cool. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Um, it's like I remember when Diamond and Pearl came out, uh, they released in Japan, and my friend brought to school with him a Pokemon magazine that had all the Japanese names. Really? And okay. so when I first, like, 
got Diamond and Pearl, I was like, what the fuck is a Chimchar? <laughs> <laughs> because I'd only seen the Japanese names of them. And we ran around at, at school pretending to play like imaginary Pokemon and sending out the new like Japanese Pokemon names like of the, the brand new region. Mean look. I want mean look. I mean, that would have been good for the roaming Pokemon later, but you know. Whatever. I have a heart scale. <laughs> yeah. That, that is this town. The heart scale. Yeah, we, yeah, it is. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do you know uh, uh, Azuril and Maril are the only one of the like the only Pokemon that can change genders as it evolves? How does that work? So Azuril has a seventy-five percent chance of being male and twenty-five percent oh, chance of being female. That's right. And I then have Maril, heard about this. Maril is 50-50. Yes. Because Azuril came after Maril, so it's like there's legitimate chance if it falls within that percentage range that it will automatically change genders when it evolves. Yeah. We I stand a transgender that. king. <laughs> like <laughs> fucking rules. <laughs> or queen. You know, whatever. Well, I mean, if it's 75% male then it would, or 75% female, it yeah. would always transition from female to male, right? Yeah, if it if it did. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Transgender king. <laughs> yeah. We'd love to see it. And even better if it's a shiny Azumarill, because it's golden. Fucking Yo. like... Golden Trans King, like damn. Oh, just just use Volt Switch. <laughs> that work. It won't work. I was like, wait like, a minute. I was joking, and then I saw you exit, and I was, I was like, like, wait a minute. <laughs> no, it took me a second. I was like, wait a minute. That ain't gonna work. Hey, wait, 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 wait. wait. I forget uh, which which one. Oh, it's Wooper. Wooper doesn't get it. It's either Wooper or Barbo. It doesn't get its ground typing until it evolves. Grab, you gotta stop being confused! <laughs> it's he's just a king of status conditions, <laughs> like. Damn it! Grep, you gotta stop being confused. That was a crit? Okay. Come on, grab, power through it. <gasps> Let's go! Let's go! Had a boy. Had a boy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm doing about. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Well, now that you've, once you finish this, you'll be able to, um, if you place, if you go into Legends Arceus, you can catch Darkrai and Shaman once you've. Oh, I've already got them. You need finished save data from this game to get them. Oh, but I definitely got them. Maybe <laughs> I'm wrong. I definitely caught him. Oh, I got both. You, so you can access if you catch Arceus in um, in Legends Arceus, you can then find a, a wild Arceus at the top of Spear Pillar. Like, oh, really? I'm pretty sure you may not be able to, but um, see, I never. I definitely got Dark Rain and Shaman, but I haven't completed the Pokedex yeah. in Legends Arceus, so I have not gotten Arceus. Oh my lord, that the Arceus's fight is not like you know how the the, the totem poke the the like the, you have you have like the dodging and you have to throw the things at them? Yes. It's like that, but like hell is raining is really? down on you. Like it's it's literally like you it's, have it's like it's like the uh It's Dark Souls level combat. <gasps> like you literally have like maybe a second window to throw a single one of those pellets in between his like barrage of attacks, and then you just have to keep dodging and dodging oh, and dodging. Like it's. I want to see that. Oh fuck! <laughs> God damn it. Um, man, that's cool. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Cause I remember. Oh, what are they? What are they? What are the new forms called? I forgot. Like the ancient Dialgan Polk, yeah. Oh, the primal forms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. No, the, they're not. They're origin forms. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Origin, Palkia was it that you actually end up like fighting or whatever? Yeah. Um. Or no, I guess it depends on. It probably depends on what you choose, which team, like which side, whether you choose Adaman or Irida. Yeah. Um. Because um, I think I chose Adaman. I chose Adaman as well. Um. Hey, by the peak Pokemon character, Adaman, fucking like S tier Pokemon character, Perrin. Oh. Uh, um, uh, um, um. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, for me, top one Pokemon per girl. Perrin. 
top one Pokemon girl for me. Have you seen the red, like the the? the she is like my pod? favorite Pokemon girl. Like just design wise, personality. She's amazing. I love her. The secret rare parent card. She's yes. She's looking down on you she's with her camera. So pretty. She's so pretty. <laughs> and she's related to Adam and Irida. Right. Canonically, they fucked. Yeah, they like. did. And it was like the hottest sex <laughs> ever. <laughs> and and then Perrin. Ooh. She's so pretty. <laughs> Legit, I, like, I legitimately can't get over like that. I, there was when I first got the DLC. Yeah. At least when I first played it, I made like videos. I posted like videos on Twitter. Or, like she's like, get 150. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> um, I just remember like so I because I played through the DLC with my friend Louis. Mm -hmm. Um, and he fucking loves, uh, Perrin. Perrin is his top one. Yes, top one. Like. Um, and so he like, he was, he had him, he had her as his wallpaper on his phone and everything like that. Let's like, go. Actual peak, like, um, and he just, he was just like, I need to see her. Like he played through the entire game and DLC again so he could spend more time with her. <laughs> and I was like, damn, Brother. man. Um, and then she like, yeah, cause she disappears and she comes back in the second DLC yep. and you're like, Oh, let's go! Let's go! And then she just stays there. Yeah. And you're like, yay. And you can just go there anytime. Yeah. I think because you can, when you're like playing with other people, you can set your like title card. You can take a photo and take whatever you want, have it as your title card. Yes. And he had like his character doing this, like, and Perrin, like, Perrin, like, like right there. On, on his hand. Yep. And that was his title card for like God knows how long. Okay, Crash Awake. I'm Crash pretty Awake! Sure, I'm pretty sure it is Gyarados, Gastrodon, Floatzel. So or Quagsire. Might be Quagsire Maybe also. Quagsire. Yeah, it's Quagsire because Gastrodon is Cynthia's. Cynthia. Yeah. And so, Kathy first and Volt Switch. If it doesn't kill, then... I deal, Spark, with, I I'd, deal with it. Yeah, Spark doesn't... Spark won't kill because of damn, Intimidate. You look like a damn fool. But so do I when I see Perrin. Jack Black looking ass. <laughs> like, did you see the Minecraft movie shit? Yeah. I'm like, Jack, are you really sure that that's Steve? <laughs> He's like some graying man. Wait, okay, hang on. What will do more? You intimidate, like, minus one. Your attack is higher. His special Bro, defense is higher. I'm just... Oh, true. Um, I, think, I think Volt Switch. Yeah. It's a safe I, play. Yeah, I agree. Just, I, I'll just concept alone. Yeah. Easy. And then Torterra, you'll put in next, I believe. Yeah. Because if he sends out floats on his guy, Ice Fang, I'm like, mm. Then you can, like, then pivot. I, I run away. You could pivot to Buddy on the Ice Fang. Yes. Or maybe not, because you, you kind of fuck? risk. Because you Vault Switched. Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck am I doing here? Yeah. Quagsar. But look at that dumb man. Look at this man's face. He's a beautiful man. He really is. Truly majestic. Why you stand like that, Crash Awake? <laughs> Bro, why you stand like that? He's ready to wrestle. <laughs> He's ready to wrestle a child. <laughs> Me to parent, where's my hug? <laughs> <laughs> that like that that one dude who like oh oh fuck shit it's fine just kill <laughs> that could have been so bad well <laughs> whatever Jesus Christ hey, poison, let's jab. poison jab let's go hey, I believed it's in better than I Vanishop. believed in grip oh true. He's not as- oh wait, I was like, he's not a special attacker, look at his stats. Yeah, true. Maybe Swagger. Swagger is not good. Yeah, you're right, Swagger sucks. But having a special attack, like... That's pretty good. That's pretty Vanishok's good. kinda... I like Vanishok. Yeah. Bobby. If you poison with Poison Jab and then you Vanishok, it right. does double damage. That's cracked. 
He already has Aurora Beam. Yeah, I taught it to him just a second ago. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I must not have been paying attention. <laughs> yeah. I think I was looking at Perrin pitches. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Me too, honestly. <laughs> Can you imagine if they meet Perrin in the anime? <sighs> Bro. I just know she would be voiced by this, like, by a voice actress I really like, too. Ima they imagine, would just bring someone imagine in. Imagine Jeremy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> she already did Chloe, though. So it's not gonna happen, well, but I still. I mean, it could. It could happen. Like, different series. Bro, you, on, you, like... You can go up and around. Oh, you're right. Um... This is just a random fact. So you remember back like years and years ago when I did those like silly Ash dub over clips? Yeah. So Kira Buckland, who is uh, Rebecca's dub voice actress, followed me because of that. Really? Yeah. So she's just been following me for like four years. <laughs> and that was even before she like Eden Zero anime had come out. So she got chosen to play Rebecca after that. Hell yeah. So she's just been following me this whole time. <laughs> She, she, she just sees one, like, all she needs to see is one particular cover of yours, and it's Jova. You're, yeah, you're and I've in, done four Eden Zero covers. And you're, you're in for an anime opening, like... Yes. Fuck yeah. No, no, no. Um, no, because, like, I, I'm like, if... Fuck you. Doesn't the bomb thing... Isn't the bomb thing supposed to happen? Oh, you're right. Maybe... Um, the, is that platinum only? No, I think that's in this, too. Um, Maybe but, let's uh, go and get our other encounters. Yeah, I think we need to uh, go upwards. We we have Back to business. been refreshed. Back to business. Clary. Had to buy some shit. <laughs> yeah, we used uh, up all of our balls. Yeah, <laughs> we're ballers. Yeah. Well, I'm a woman. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> Damn, I'm rich. Just kidding. Quick balls. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, revives in a nuzlocke. That's... Yeah. Very useful. Alright. Now we're All talking, right. baby. So we get an encounter in the next trout and then in the trophy garden. Yeah, let's have a look just to make sure Bomb Man is not around. Well, he's there. But I don't know what triggers that event. Package finally came. Yes, we no failures allowed. No making boo boos like water off the great bars. What the? The rain's dropping. I was just talking loudly to myself. If I wasn't in a hurry, I'd pull oh. you with my Pokemon. But I had to get out of my way. I used to lay the lake ASAP. So you're lucky. I'm out. Oh, well, listen up, you. Don't you dare follow me. Okay. Follow him. <laughs> get him. <laughs> Forgot him. Hmm. You look, uh. You look like you want to be followed. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else then. <laughs> Persistent pest. If our plan works, our bus's dream comes closer to fruition. Our bus's ideal world is going to be created. I'm closer to fruition. To fruit. fruit. To fruit. Yes, to fruit. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time on a nobody like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, don't cheat on them. Don't cheat on me. What the? I don't give this ever. No. No. <laughs> well... Is that music different? Huh? No. No. Still a Starly. Bro, what are you doing? It's after after he gets his R's beat this time he's like finally no longer the power of friendship play. Carly Car <laughs> Kathy's remembering the first time I met you. Oh. Brother, I don't care. Quick claw. You bitch. Wow. <laughs> it cut me in half at full health. Starly's <laughs> very weak. How? What? When did it have a quick claw? <laughs> I've never seen that. I wish I knew. Is awaiting your directions. You can have directions. Wow, that really hurt. What is this power of friendship ass team? Yeah. <laughs> Liter literally, like. Maybe just Platinum Barry is a menace? Like, Maybe. Hey, Roselia. Well, you've called upon the wrath. Of Buddy. It's our first time with Buddy out on the team. I love that he ended up getting caught in a fucking Premier Bowl. Yeah, right? Oh! Oh, no. I tripped! <laughs> so, anyway... 
I tripped and fell. Hound down suit. Hound, hound down. Hound down. How damn! How damn he's cool. <laughs> like, sheesh! Sheesh! Bro, now you got me thinking about pairing. I'm all kinds <laughs> of fucked up. He's, he's all like, like smiling and blushing and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to marry her so bad. <laughs> it's the whole Fuck like. You, Spike. It's the whole fucking like. Like writing your name in your note, writing her in your name in the notebook, like <laughs> Mr. Perrin, like, <laughs> like Perrin with my last name. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just like she loves me, she, she loves, loves me not. She, she loves, loves me, me, she loves me not. Like, oh my god, Monferno. Oh shit, I gotta get out of here. I gotta bounce. Watch out, I'm about to bounce. bounce. Well, yeah, I'm at my head, but boy, they out of rounds. Oh. oh fuck! I'm out of. Th I can't do anything. Um, grep on the fighting type attack. Tank the fire type. Earthquake. He can tank it. It'll probably be like flame wheel. Yeah. And we just took an ice fang. <laughs> yeah. We're good. <laughs> oh no. Maybe we're not good. No, we're good. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Do it. Do it. What an idiot. He's throwing! Wait, unless he's got he's a fucking- He's throwing like, it! Unless he's got a fucking focus sash or some shit. He would. Okay. Thank fuck. Leer. He's, he actually threw that. He really did. He already raised his attack one. He could've gone for flame wheel and it probably would've hurt pretty bad. You're telling me I lost? 6696! Oh, it's because of the fucking amulet you... coin? <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Fuck. Alright, I got scared. And I'm nervous. Uh... So before I chase down the guy with the terror- the terrorist... With a bomb... <laughs> I'm going to go see Nurse Joy. Yeah. Nurse Joy! You're cute in whatever art style you're in. Thank you L very literally. much. Literally. Even like Universe Nurse Joy is like... Yeah. Alright, let's see. Okay, so... Ooh, ooh, well, the, the battle against the the grunt is, like, easy as shit. Yeah, like, yeah, Are you happy with our team? For the most part, yeah, like... I think the only thing I might change... I think I'd like to have a Star Raptor for the Fantina fight. Maybe so, because, instead of Zoro, because Zoro won't do anything in that fight. Yeah, I'd like to get him to evolve though. Well, thirty-seven. We've still got because well, we've still got a whole route to. Yeah, what I want, I definitely want to get Star Raptor to Star Evie to evolve, Henry. Maybe do because I don't think. Maybe we're pretty we, over leveled. Maybe do Reza. But, so the, the 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 only issue with um, well, octillery, I them leveling up. Octillery is like slower than Torterra, and I don't think he's that tanky. No. So, because we okay, we can get a Pastoria CD encounter, which is guaranteed to be a magic up. So yeah. we could end up with a Gyarados on our team. Right. Which I feel like like crazy high special defense. Access to a lot of coverage moves. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like. Wait, hang on. I kind of want to just try it. I want to. Yeah, I want to try it. Maybe Kathy. Yeah. I feel like Kathy's kind of use. I just want to like. Yeah. Like we can we can put them back in. Yeah. Put him back. Put her back in if we need to. Situational usage. What do you have to say? Anything? Cringe. Anyway. I'm out of here. I forgot that um, in Platinum they had the Krogunk statue like thing yeah, that you could stick you your head stick into, but they in. didn't have that in in this. There was no reason to make this not Platinum. <laughs> like, Literally. Or it, even, even just like a new game plus mode. Like once you finish the game, you can play... You have to talk to the dude. Oh, where is he? Oh. <laughs> It takes um, scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this a scientific genius. That's called transitive property of equality. 
Um, you have to go around me, fool. Because it wouldn't... There's really not that much extra. Fuck! I love my inner tube. Well, that's good. It probably keeps him from drowning like that's a fucking That's something that normal, idiot. normal men say. He's not a man. Shellos He's just is, a boy. Shellos is the one I was thinking of that... Shellos is not a ground type. Yeah, Gastrodon is Gastrodon a ground type. Is Gastrodon is Gastrodon. Fuck, I can't speak. Gastrodon is a ground type. I, just, I kept... Um, I got stuck <laughs> on gowned. <laughs> like... <laughs> You're close to being a star raptor. Come on, just just go over the level. Just go over. You're like please, right there. You're please. like right there. Come on. Oh, we get this. We get to see Cynthia. <gasps> <laughs> Top two Pokemon girls. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like top two. Yeah, just because, like, just because she has a personality. Yeah. Because I like. I really like uh, Rosa. Yes. Yes. I really like Rosa, but she doesn't, like, the only place she has a personality is Masters. <laughs> the, I, don't, I don't really... The thinking face, that... <laughs> yeah. she's, so, she's so silly in that, I love her. Yeah. <laughs> so goofy. Do I still have Masters installed? I, I, like, I still, to this day, like, open up... Yep. I still, to this day, open up Masters every now and then and just, like, claim the free things, do a few rolls, see if I get anyone good, and then quit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, there she is. She's on the main screen. Yeah, she is. And Cynthia. Yeah, because she was like the one of the first ones you like. She's like the free one you get right at the yeah. beginning. Yeah. And then Diantha. Ooh. Well, she's nice. She is nice. God, I'm pooped, but I'm not gonna battle you. I hold myself back. How gracious of you. You didn't go very far that time. No, he's he's pooped now. You leave me no choice. Mama said, knock you out. <laughs> Here we go. Get ready to die. So, that, I don't know if you ever read it, but there was a web comic that they released when Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire come out, came out. And it was called, um, like, it was either something along the lines of, like, I'm dating a Team Magma Grunt. And it's, it's like... I don't think so. Uh, it's like... You, the, uh, the main. I like, think that was like right before I really got onto like social media. Yeah. Because um, 2014. But it's an adorable like comic about like you meeting a female Team Magma Grunt and she like falls, you fall in love with each other and you're the, like the hero, That's she's a hell. Team Magma Grunt. That's but you like go on dates when she's outside of work and I stuff like that. I feel like, like I that. might have like seen it after the fact. Yeah. Maybe. Like it's fucking, it's cute as shit. Like. I'm running on fumes. Ah, shit. I have to shit. And then all of a sudden Cynthia comes out of nowhere. Oh, hello there. How long time no see? Well, did you hear about the guy with the bomb? No? <laughs> yes, I have seen the Psyduck. You should use this medicine on them. Thank you, mommy. You're so nice to me. What did I do to deserve your kindness, <laughs> mommy? Sheesh. Um, I'm trying to think if there are any other female character designs I really like. I like Courtney. Yeah. Team Magma. She's pretty. There's like definitely. I actually really like Candace. Unironically. Yeah. I think she's really pretty. But yeah, it's like dating a Team Magma grunt. And it's just like a cute slice of life about like. Like them dating after <laughs> the world ends, like that's hype. <coughs> <coughs> it looks like it was um. I don't, you know, I don't, mean, I don't know anything about art, but it looks a little bit amateurish. But I kind of, like, yeah, I kind of like that. Oh, it's it's like a fan made project, yeah. And his his art got like way better over time. Um, ooh, okay, new encounters. Yes. So there's the swamp. Which gives certain encounters, and then there's the rest of the route, which gives no, other I encounters. No, actually, I, I like a lot of amateurish art. I think there's, like, a charm to it. Yeah. It's also why, like, I kind of like early art styles for manga. Like, Right, yeah. It gives that sort of vibe, like... There yeah, was, like, like a distinct charm, like, like, Hiromashima with Rave Master. Like, it had a very distinct, like, 
he definitely had like a very unique look. Yeah. To his his to his art, he still does. In yeah. Fairness. Like even now that he's gotten to a point where it's almost like scarily good. Yeah. <laughs> like. Bro, so I I don't think I ever told you, but I have the, I used to work in a town like an hour away from where I live. Okay. Um, and it was a very small town with a lot of people that smoked. <laughs> like. Okay. Like a very very um, sort of stoner town. Uh, and basically there was this guy that used to work with us, absolute nutter, but his name was Willow. Mm -hmm. Um, and he, so like to put it into perspective, he's someone who believes that like he, he wouldn't buy an Xbox because the Kinect, uh, because it uses, used like LiDAR technology to detect where you were. Mm. He once like turned his lights off and saw all the lights. And so he was instant, like the government is spying on me. <laughs> Um, anyway, like, he was talking to me about anime, and he was- he's one of those people that's like, I know everything about anime. Like, I am- Ugh. I am like a- I'm a, like an anime expert kind of thing, uh. is his- is his, like, vibe. And he was like, oh, did you know there's two, like, really popular anime series right now that, um, that are connected? And I was like... Like, like yeah, what you mean like Naruto and Naruto Shippuden like <laughs> no 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 like like two completely separate like like series that actually take place in the same universe and I was like okay well, you got to tell me now like right um and he was like fairy tale and one piece and I was like uh, what lore uh, are you spitting right now he was, his whole basis was that the art style of early fairy tale looked kind of similar to the art style of early One Piece. And like the the animation studios animated them in similar ways. That was the whole basis of his theory. But he was like, yeah, like it's been confirmed that fairy tale is set thousands, like this is well before fairy tale ever ended. Like um, fairy tale was still, this was, this was 2012, 2013. So like, um, the second We're, series you're of fairy post -time tale. barely post-time skip in One Piece. Yeah, and, and the, the fairy tale, the second series of fairy tale hadn't even started yet. Yeah. That was 2014. Um, and basically he was like, yeah, so what happens in fairy tale is like at the end of the series, the creator's going to like flood the world and it's going to go from being a land like, like, like Wind Waker style, like flood, right. flood the earth and the only the tops of mountains are going to be left and the the magical power will get drained from everyone and stored within these devil fruits kind of like the lacrimas in like like he was like yeah the lacrimas kind of like how they were in edelus yeah in edelus so like is what's going to happen to everyone at the end of fairy tale and then over time those lacrimas are going to warp like into devil fruits and you eat those devil fruits and that's how you get those powers and like he he was like dead set that this is exactly what was happening. There was zero doubt in his mind that that was exactly how the world like, full confidence That's amazing Um, And at the time, I, I obviously I was like, no, you're a fucking dickhead <laughs> But then like, I'm like, it's a it's a creative theory, like it's wrong as he had, shit. Yeah, he had to like really like, make some stretches for that but like, it, I mean he clearly has, like, some knowledge of both of their universes. Like, he didn't just make it up from nothing. Yeah. Um, and, but then I remember when 100 Year Quest started, he sent me a message. It was like, I was right all those years ago. I was right because in the first arc of 100 Year Quest, they go to the town where the water comes up. And like the one town, the, yeah. But he's <laughs> like, he's like, this is the proof. This is the proof that my theory was correct. They've always been in the same universe. Um, but this is the same man that genuinely believes that humans can fly. They just need to unlock the ability in their brain. What? <laughs> like, same same guy. He he ended up quitting the place that I worked for because like we oh. were. We were working- I was working as a oh, labourer, so we were like, fuck? building houses and tearing down shit. We were demolishing this house and there was this like, cool like cupboard thing, kind of like your desk- Oh! Let's go! Let's go! Uh, um, kind of yeah. like your desk, but like a full wall version. Okay. Um, and th like anything that was getting demolished, we could technically request to keep. Okay. And so he's like, 
I want this. And the boss is like, yep, no worries. And he's like, I also want this like cool claw foot tub. The boss is like, yep, yep, cool, no worries. And like, okay, go back to work and we'll talk about it after. Goes back to work, 10 minutes later, walks over again and goes, oh, um, I want that and that. And he's like, yep, I know, you told you told me that that's what you wanted. Yeah. Like, yep, you're gonna get it. And he's like, good, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> like, that's mine. And he repeated that like seven or eight times uh -huh. every 10 minutes. Like, I want this and this. And he kept stopping working. And the boss was like, if you, in, if you stop working again to talk to me about this shit, you're not getting it. And sure enough, 10 minutes later, he stopped working. Boss is like, nope, nope, that's it. And he goes absolutely berserk <laughs> and ends up like smashing both the bathtub and the cabinet like completely demolishing them like he ha he pulls a hammer out of his work belt and starts going at it and s this is in the middle of the town like on the main street we were doing this he starts screaming at the top of his lungs about how unfair it is like that he can't get this like free item and he ends up like throwing a, like a part of the mirror that was on the front of the cabinet at the boss running down the street screaming at the top of his lungs and he fucking disappeared and I never saw him again. <laughs> <laughs> like, and what and the, the only fuck? contact I had with him after that was him to mess him messaging me when 100 Year Quest came out to say that his theory was right because Bro, this was one like town homeless got on the flooded. street like fucking I knew it 100 Year Quest proves my theory. Yeah, like I don't I, I don't even know like I didn't- I think I changed numbers between then and he still managed to text me, like... It was fuck- he was fuck- must have been dedicated, like, seeking me out like that. Bro, he was, like, finding the one person he, like, yeah. told his One Piece fairy tale crossover theory to. Um... And he- he tried to say that, like, because he'd read the manga and seen that they'd done a crossover with Rave Master. Mm -hmm. He was like, see? See the creators, like, willing- like, the creators showing that, like, other universes can be connected to his. It's like yeah, that's his by the own, same author. Yeah, that's his own. <laughs> that's his own series, <laughs> bro. Like, yeah, like I feel, I kind of feel the same way about like rave, like the rave art style as yeah. I do about like early One Piece. Yeah, because there's some charm to it, definitely. But then I always think back to that one panel of Vivi. <laughs> I'm like, there's no reason for you to draw her like that. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's it's um, like that's why I find found, I found it hard to get into rave. Like I've tried to read it a bunch of times. I've never gotten through it. Yeah, because it has not aged well. No. Um, the art style definitely no. Yeah, I think because I I read it about a year and a half ago, a little over a year and a half ago. That like it was so like. I keep track of pretty much what I read as I go. Yeah. And it was the last manga I read from start to finish in 2022. Yeah. So like literally like the like month whole month of December I read it from start to finish pretty much. Yeah. And I don't remember being very like super impressed with it by any means. Yeah. But I was like it's more like unpredictable than fairy tale, which yeah. I appreciate, but I think fairy tale is a more well put together story, I guess. Yeah. Even though it definitely feels like he's changing. <laughs> he's changing stuff as he goes. Yeah. Um, damn, that policeman has like, that man has aura. Yeah, he does actually. Too bad he has a hoo hoo. <laughs> you mean a ho ho? Ho ho. That's what I used to think ho ho was called when I was younger. Ho ho. Yeah, I don't, like. <laughs> My brain was just like, ho ho. Ho ho. Um, I didn't laugh. Ho ho. I was like, it's the Santa Claus Pokemon. <laughs> um, so true. But yeah, like, I, I, I did find it really interesting that Grey was originally supposed to be a, the next Rave Master, and that mechanic was supposed to come back in Fairy Tail. That's why Grey is wearing right. the Rave the necklace. The Rave necklace. Because it, that was like a plan that Mish, uh, Mashima had for the story to like link the universes back together. Right. And then his editor was like, 
no, Fairy Tale is way bigger than Rave. Like, no one will understand that reference. Yeah, that's like, why they ended up kind of like thing that's why that they no phased out understand. Clue, right? Um, because like it, Happy became the face of Fairy Tale, not Plue. Yeah, even though he liked Plue as a character, and I think he brought Plue back in Eden Zero as like a cameo, as a cameo in yeah. like the first or second chapter or something. Mm-hmm. Have we got our encounter on this route yet? No, but I don't even know what's here. What route is this? 212. 212. Well, and there, this is the one that has two sections to it. So there's like this swampy section. Yeah. And then there's also the fucking. Well, let's main see what encounters the... are on this, and then we can always repel. Well, we're right, to, we're right at the end. We just go north from here and we're. Yes. Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I kind of. I actually really like what they ended up doing with gray yeah because this is this is gonna be my chance to because i actually very rarely i put like you know i, I read a ton of manga and i don't always post about it yeah but when i do i'm it's because i'm like pipe i'm pumped up about it yeah and fairy so new fairy to hundred years quest chapter came out today and it I, went yeah. crazy um like we got a bomb dropped on us like so this is we're we're building up right to the final arc of Hundred Years Quest. Yeah. Um and literally last so it's every it's bi weekly, which kinda sucks, but Yeah. It you know, it's uh, you can't really like I think Mashima does like he doesn't do the full complete art, but he does like the layouts. Like yeah. he draws like little sketches and he, which, he, he which, would do the um the storyboards. Yeah, the storyboards essentially. And um and you can kind of tell because some of them don't like they don't they feel a little lazier sometimes i think by the way um, so sorry for interrupting yeah. uh, there is no encounter on this route that is new okay like like so Nothing. maybe un- maybe we go underground, underground and get another encounter like yep. because it, it is literally like a- apart from if we were to fish for a magic cart which we were going to do in pastoria anyway yeah or somewhere like like fucking twin leaf town like it is all exactly what we've already had mm. um so anyway sorry you, yeah, yeah. C- you continue yeah but like um it, it's it's some of the uh like layouts and stuff do feel a little lazy <coughs> like compared to eden zero or whatever mm. um like you can honestly tell where mashima's focus was um and i do think like 100 years quest up to this point has kind of just been like from the very beginning, Hundred Years Quest was always like a bonus. It was a, it's a victory round. Yeah. Um, because, <clears throat> you know, we didn't need it, really. Yeah. But like, it's cool that we're getting it. Cause like all, of, basically, all of the real, you know, hard hitting lore and storytelling we got in the main series of Fairy Tale. Yeah. So we don't need a lot, especially surrounding the main characters. Yeah. Like, they don't really need to develop much anymore. We're just going for a victory lap at this point. That's just like, yeehaw! We're so we're happy to be here. Yeah. Um. Because from my understanding, there's not really... The characters don't really have any power-ups. They do rarely. Yeah. But it's not... You know, there's not really, like, anything super significant. Like... Because, well, like, in Fairy Tale, they had, like, Natsu had his, like lightning fire dragon like he and still then, uses that from Cyber, yeah Cyber but, but like it, he kind of leveled up throughout fairy tale yeah so there's only there's a couple things like i think i mentioned this but gray i think i mentioned at least to you but gray has pretty much been stagnant this whole time yeah. which has bothered me because i and it's not even necessarily that he's stagnant that bothers me i just want him to be a little more proactive in, yeah. in the story like i want him to have a little more to do because his fights have kind of just been whatever like maybe they didn't really go all the way to the end or something yeah. like they were interrupted or what have you i want gray to be able to do a little more something something even if it's not necessarily related to juvia or not yeah like i just want him to be able like if it is with Juvia, great, whatever, like, that's fine. Just just let him do a little bit more. I want him to be able to fight some more, because, like, especially in the last arc of Fairy Tale, Alvarez, when they uh, did, like, Natsu versus Grey. Yeah. The demon and the, the, like, the demon versus the demon slayer shit. Yeah. Fucking rules. Um, 
so so good and i want gray like gray has barely busted out the demon's lair yeah stuff to, in hundred years quest like maybe twice yeah so i i wanted i want that to be i want gray to have a little more to do um but like lucy's gotten some power-ups wendy's gotten some power-ups and the other three have basically stayed the same there was no reason for allison to look at what's like that over the pokeball i don't know if you saw that she no, gave us like the flirtiest look over the top of the Pokeball, like, mm. Mm. <laughs> sorry. She likes my overalls. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so like the, the other three haven't really had any power. Yeah, but it's like not, that. those are like, like Natsu and Urza, you know, Ur especially Urza. Yeah. When it's like Urza is like, you get it. She like does Urza. She uses a sword. She transforms and like fucking slashes people up. Yeah. And wins when she's, she probably shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> that's what Classic she does. That's what she does. Um, so she doesn't really need to do much, but like Wendy, um, she like has learned some more like, I guess support magic because she has like, um, you remember when Irene took over Wendy's body in the final arc? Yeah. So Irene actually has like a lingering spirit, like a bit of her spirit left inside of Wendy uh, and yeah. she's able to communicate Wendy learned how to communicate with Irene, and Irene has, like, taught her some more, like, uh, imbuing magic or whatever it is that she let Wendy learned how to do kind of recently. Oh, yeah. So, like, she learned how to do that. Lucy has a star dress mix now where uh, she combines two or two forms. Hell yeah. Um, which is cool. Uh, I liked that they made Lucy, like, not, like, because yeah, she was kind of... A little useless without with star dress yes yeah like she, especially she herself like she would yeah. always have the spirits doing it for her um yes the star dress was a good thing for sure oops um those two and the two old people on the other side of that wall are the ones you can use for the money glitch like not money glitch but like battle rematching thing yes right um who are you this is a trophy garden oh I yeah. knew that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's in the trophy garden. We're gonna find out. Knock knock. Daddy's home. Oh. Well, that's not helpful. Bum 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 bum. Um. But yeah. So basically, the point was, uh, like, especially the most recent arc, like the penult. I guess it would have been the penultimate arc of Hundred Years Quest was a yeah. little underwhelming because it ended it, it was the, the fourth dragon god or whatever um or i guess it would have well there's a there's a twist but it's technically the fifth that they've taken out yeah um and it was like the most underwhelming motherfucker ever yeah like natsu was just it was just like everybody else literally watched as natsu punched it one time and knocked it out <laughs> <laughs> um like obviously there was a little build up to that and like it was like oh none of our magic works and then it was like oh but Natsu's fire magic will work and he just like punches it one time and that's <laughs> it. Um, um, so we're guaranteed a Pikachu here. Okay. But it's like a 10% alongside All right, Pikachu's Pikachu, you 5%. motherfucker. Hopefully we get a Pikachu because then we don't have to friendship evolve the Pichu. Yeah, right. Um, but so what happened uh, recently was essentially... Um, the, so we saw like in the beginning the job is to like seal away the five dragon gods yeah um for the most part that has entailed uh actually sealing the power of the dragon gods away while keeping the people themselves alive yeah um or who were the dragon gods yeah so they use like that little orb they got from elisaria to seal away the power yeah and keep the people alive so that's what's happened pretty much so far. By the way, I'm spoiling a hundred years quest. So if you're a fan, uh, tune tune out in case it wasn't <laughs> obvious. Yeah. Just in case, just feel like I should put that out there. So I'm spoiling hundred years quest. Um, but basically, in the most recent chapter before today, um, a surprise like guest showed up, who um, we kind of had like ruled out, sort of like it was a new character but kind of a different version of someone we had already seen before. So there's also a third. Um, so there's Earthland and Edelus, right? Yeah. There's a third one 
introduced in Hundred Years Quest. So oh. you can do so. There's there then became a possibility to have a third version of somebody else. Yeah. Um. So we had seen. Uh. So Toka, the girl who was like, "Where's Natsu? I love yeah. him." Um. She actually turns out to be an ex seed. Huh. So she came from Edelis. Yeah. And then there's another version. Um. And actually, the bit is that she's not actually looking for Natsu. She's looking for Happy, oh. who she thinks is Natsu. So, um, and so that's that's why it's like a weird, it's a funny twist. Yeah. Um, but they, uh, so we had seen the version of her from Edelis and the version of her from the third place, but we hadn't seen her from Earthland. Yeah. And so Earthland, her, turns out to be a black wizard, and she comes in... Like she came, was introduced just out of nowhere, like two chapters ago. Yeah. Uh, like at the very end, and then last chapter before today, she used uh, some black magic. So this is crazy that they remembered this. But do you remember how in Tartarus, when Igneal and Acnologia fought, Igneal ripped off Acnologia's arm? Yeah. So the the Earthland Toka comes back, and she has Acnologia's ripped off arm. Oh. Yeah. So. Shit. Right. So, um, she has, so she, whatever her black magic ability is, she used it to unleash, to re-unleash the power of the dragon gods and send them out of control. Yeah. So basically all the work that they had done up to this point is now gone. Yeah. So they have to basically redo everything. And in this chapter today, we saw like. So there's one dragon god that hasn't been taken down, Ignea, who's fucking awesome. One of the best Mashima villains. Fucking rules. Um, just, just pure evil. Just mm. pure enough. No fucking weird shits. Of, like he's not a good guy. He's just a dick. Yeah. Um, and he's strong as hell. And um, he, so he's the only one whose power hasn't been like forced out of control. But the rest are all like fucked up. And we saw. Um, she brought in like a new a new Arashion Sace. Yeah. So they actually called the Arashion Six, which is six in German, I think. Yeah. Um So there's a whole new set of demons. There's still Ignea and his he has like a little like I think four subordinates yeah. who may even become dragons themselves. Yeah. So there's the demons. There's the uh, dragons, and then there's fairy tale. <laughs> so it's just, it's just pure setup for like just fights after fights, and that's what Hundred's Quest has just been missing this whole yeah. time. Yeah, it's been, it's just been missing the like, like it's never really felt like you know in Alvarez where it just felt like they were so outmatched, yeah. or in Tartarus where they felt like they were so outmatched yeah. by by their opponents. It's never really felt that way in Hundred Years Quest until now. Yeah, like where they they have like basically no chance of winning, but damn it, they're gonna like fight anyway. Yeah, and it's just it's it's gonna be great. I think I hope so because that's the thing, right? I hope that at this point, Mashima realizes he doesn't need to do that much. Like he can do, he can still do his like classic character work with the with the villains and stuff. Mm. Like maybe turn them good, or like maybe they have tragic backstory, whatever. But I hope he he realizes like, a, you know, a lot of Gray's fights in Fairy Tale, like the main series, were kind of emotionally charged to the point where uh, he won those fights in ways that like you know when it, like emotions were running high like in like a one shot sort of thing yeah he doesn't need to do that anymore just let him fucking fight yeah like he can just let them just fight and that's what i hope happens now going yeah. forward so hell yeah it's gonna be uh i hope is i hope it's really good because i i remember talking about hundred years quest a little bit a long while ago and I, all i said was Hundred Years Quest could be a complete dud as long as the last arc is fucking fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so, because, like, Ignea as a villain has all the potential in the world still. And, like, just seeing everything that's, like, all the crazy shit that's being thrown out all at once, it's, like, actually 
properly like, oh man, yeah. we are so back. <laughs> like, why well, I saw the the thing, the the, the 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 shot that you posted from the most recent chapter, like the really hyped one. Yes, and I was like, damn, that looks sick. It's, like, yes, <laughs> like when especially Ueda's art has improved so much. I think, yeah, like over the course of Hundred Years Quest, just like. Just small things, mm. like, like I guess his like expressions, like sort of, uh, like just like smaller things that like make those kinds of shots cooler. I think, but like, it's it looks great. Like, yeah, there's so because it is even though it's the final arc, there's still like so much they have <laughs> to do. Um, so it, it's 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 very exciting. Hell yeah, that's sick. Yes. And you, and even though that is still going on, like you know, Mashuma's cooking right now. Like he's yeah. making something new as we speak. Yeah, I'm so like I, I, I genuinely think that Mashuma is probably my favorite mangaka. Mm -hmm. Um, like pretty, pretty apart from We're like fucking mouse. Apart from fucking Rave Master, which kind of is a product of its time. Yeah. Um, Definitely. Every single thing I've read of his, I have enjoyed. Like, the, the Monster Hunter manga he did was fucking phenomenal. Like, um, the Dead Rock at the moment. Yeah, that's been great. That has been great. Like, um, and the fact that, like, Mashima said, I, I think I told you in a recent, or you maybe told me, in a recent interview, he was like, yeah, I want to create something that's going to surpass Fairy Tale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. He, he is still gunning to make something that is going to be better than anything else. Like, he's like, I want to be the number one mangaka. Like, he's got that drive. Yes. Um. So I have zero doubt that it's going to, like, that he's going to... He can still do it. Yeah, Absolutely. he's going to fucking cook. Um. I think he will probably go back to the high fantasy thing. Yeah. I think so. Oh, not, not high fantasy, but fantasy. Yeah. Because uh, for for so long he just did fantasy, and Eden Zero is his sort of like branching out. Yeah. I want to try something new. It, yeah, and it, it it didn't quite like it wasn't received the same by the fans. Yeah, the fans were kind of like in Japan specifically. Yeah, yeah. They, they wanted more fantasy stuff. Yeah. Um. Hey, Thank you. it's the heart shape big chew. That's fine. Whatever. Raichu, Raichu's tail. Raichu's tail is, is normal. Yeah. Probably. Hopefully. I think. And We're we can, going in a quick ball. We can decide to put this Pikachu on our team if we want instead of the Luxray later. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> hey, Crit Capture. Stay in. That's guaranteed stay in. Nice. If it shakes in the air like that, oh. guaranteed to stay in, uh, and it will uh, only shake once. Fuck you. What are we calling it? Lady. Oh. What's the, what's the la name of the lady that voices Pikachu? Ikue Otani? Could just be like Ikue. Like yeah. Or, um... Uh, I forget. What if we just call her Sarah for Sarah Nadashani? Yeah. There we go. That. I like that. Sarah. Go to a box. <laughs> Goodbye, Sarah. Get out of here. And now we can fly back to thingy, right? Yeah. I don't need to fight anyone, really. I'm ready to go. Is it not prompting us to do that gym bench? Hmm. Oh, I think because in order to use Surf, you need that gym badge. Yes. And you get Surf in Celestic Town, which like Celestic Town is a new underground encounter as well. <gasps> Sheesh. Sheesh. Uh, what moves? Hang on, I want to look up something quickly. Oh. What was that? They need. I need to go to Celestic Town first, apparently. Oh, okay. Or Celestion Town, rather. Man, I have to deal with this. Yeah. I was looking up where you could find Dark Pulse. It's not. That it's not until nice. the Victory Road. 
What? Yeah. Goodbye, Psyduck. Get the fuck out of my way! I like how Line up wait, so wait, I can wait. punt kick you. <laughs> the one confused Psyduck. The fuck out of my way. This is not a new encounter because it's part of the same oh. route. Oh. Well, I didn't want anything anyway. I was just leaving this. Yes, ma'am. I think we still. Yeah, we still have Mount Coronet encounter. Yes. Which I think will probably be either a Clefairy or a Bronzong later on. <gasps> yes, ma'am. Why are there's those like so hidden... Yeah. Those guys. Ninja Trio. Yep. If you believe it, they're a trio of ninjas. But he's like seven. Yep. Fuck. I feel like such a fool. So Youngtown released a video that was like uh, like 15 things he wish he knew about um, content creation before it happened, like before he started making it. Hmm. One of the things that he says, I feel like is very, very uh, potent, specific, not potent, but like, like relatable specifically to certain communities, <laughs> like. Oh. Like, li literally, like. <laughs> True that. <laughs> okay. Listen, I have to put this on the record. Yeah. Just so that everybody knows. Uh, my beef with Cam Steady is a bit. I don't actually <laughs> have beef with Cam Steady. Um, I. It's a it's an agree to disagree thing, you know. We talked to some people at NPC, and they're like, "Ah, Cam, you know, that's just who that's just kids came steady. That's his persona, <laughs> whatever." And uh, that's just an agree to disagree thing. I I don't really agree with like the whole, you know, being even if it's a character like the overconfident asshole Man -made thing, god man made like. god thing. <laughs> Not really my thing. But if it works for him, that's great. I you know, happy to to be like cool that's <laughs> that's great man um i i that just wouldn't i wouldn't want to do that myself um and i don't just I, I you know we we uh phil just showed me the uh ash ketchum cypher which i thought was great i think he makes good music yeah so even if they're it's not like my thing personally so uh i don't actually have beef with camp steady but <laughs> If he wants to box me, I probably <laughs> won't say no. Oh, yeah. Like, so <laughs> we, we had like a big chat in the podcast before NPC um, about like <clears throat> how I felt about Nerdcore and everything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that almost completely changed after NPC because like I finally felt like connected Fuck! to the community, like actually connected to the community for once. Um, and... It's it's like the the one thing we we kind of really discovered was like people's online personality and their in real life personality, two very different things. And like, um, it's it's like I'm actually gonna heal. Uh, the the I, I don't know if the mic actually picked it up, but the Youngtown video I, I showed Gus just before was um. Basically, like, being a good person and acting like a good person are two very different things. Uh. And the people around you and your audience will figure that out. Like, they're not they're not idiots. Like, if you're genuinely a good person or if you like if you're just pretending like it will come out. And that's kind of like that re re relates to me in a way to the online personality versus in person personality. Like, yeah. Um, but for a lot of people, that's like a defense mechanism kind of thing. Like, mm -hmm. that uh, that type of personality is a way for them to avoid Fuck. feeling like they're going to be hurt by a scenario. Yeah. It's the whole thing of like, oh, I don't really care what happens. When in reality, you do give a shit, you just don't want to let that vulnerable part out. Yeah. Um, yep, yep, yep. 
And honestly, that could be what Cam's thing is. Like, it could yeah. be that it's like his online personality goes so far the other way um, as a way to like protect himself. But we, 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 we'd never really know. We'll Only know. the people yeah, we'll that are close to Cam yeah. would really know that. Um, and, but yeah, it's just funny, like, G Gus's like bit. <laughs> I think you have to Fuck. open up the fucking the R menu thing on the main screen, like yeah, and then swap oh. to the. You have to. We've done twenty five thousand steps, getting our steps in. Whoa. Yeah, and then click defog. Thank you. Thank you, Star Raptor. Well, I could just use my own Star Raptor. And now you hold the button to get rid of it. Okay. Um, all right, so there's a karate master. Well, I'm just gonna fuck him up. And then there's a double battle that we should... Oh. oh. You're not gonna... That's a ninja. Yes. Um... I don't know if I can avoid him. You can. Uh, I think you can go round, like... Oh, yeah, okay. Um, that... There's a double battle, like, up and to the left yes. that we do need to do because that's the training with the Mothim that I was telling you about early on. Right. Uh, they're like walking around up there. This is an ace trainer, so it's kind of like, could be anyone. Could be anything, yeah. Yeah. You should have Buddy walk together with us. Ah, oh, true. Come on, Buddy, get out of here. There you go. Or Krogunk with his thug walk. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, ace trainer. Ponyta, shit. <laughs> Ponyta, uh, cl close combat to put out the fucking flames. Yeah. Well, I think you, well, you got Thunderfang. It's not going to really do much to you. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> What's my ability if not flashfire? Uh, it's early bed. Oh. So you wake up if they put you to sleep, which is good for the ghost gym because I'm pretty sure. That's a thing that they do. Oh, yeah. Definitely a thing they do. Grottle! <laughs> well, lucky, lucky, you're a fire type. <laughs> you're fucked. Um. No, no, no. No. But if Cam Steady wants to box me. <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to hit, hit the gym a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a little behind, <laughs> admittedly. I don't want lock on. Oh, I, I saw on Twitter when, because Cam said he at the NPC, he got wheeled out on a gurney, like not on a gurney, like on a fucking trolley. Yeah. Um, in a in a handmade like Mewtwo costume, and then had the pieces like taken off him. Yeah, those guys are the double battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have a moth in, so probably maybe Henry and Buddy. Yeah, but he so yeah, Cam said he came out in this like fucking crazy ass mech suit, basically. Yeah, like what Mewtwo wears in the Pokemon the first movie. Yeah, for his Mewtwo song, Man Man God. Um, fuck. <laughs> literally, literally the worst possible. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Jesus. Oh, I mean, you've got Thunder Fang, but whether or not you can outspeed the Gyarados. <laughs> And risk taking that water attack. I don't think you risk. Oh, we don't. Need... Oh fuck. Well, Garros isn't that fast. We don't have. Um... Garros isn't that fast. Yeah, but we don't have. We only have Grep. Well, Grep's fine. Yeah. He'll live. I just mean that if we don't kill the Garros. Shh. We're it's gonna fine. kill the Garros. We're gonna kill the Garros. We're we're a high level. Die. What the fuck? Oh. Okay. We're gonna kill the character. Why did he live? Uh, because you were oh, intimidated and your attack is lower. God damn it, those motherfuckers. Well, whatever. You're dead now. And Unless then I don't. Razor Leaf. Yes, Razor Leaf. <laughs> we, we, we don't. Fuck! Oh, shit. Oh no. This is bad. Okay. We might kill Gyarados, though. Yes, okay, okay. Still, still maybe good. we swap out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who I do we so. swap to, though? 
I don't know. Zoro? Zoro could probably take... Uh, who? You want to win payback? Zoro? Yeah, it's better oh, than no. beat up. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um... Zoro... Although the best that... Yeah. Unless we heal, buddy. That's not a bad idea. I have no super potions. You got 10 Moo Moo Pills. Yeah, I do. But they're mine. Uh, oh, hang on. You could... Um, does Mischievous have Levitate? You could swap oh, Mischievous yeah. and then just Earthquake. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh, Levitate. Come out here. Rep is awaiting your directions. Go! See? Big brain plays. Big brain plays. Uh-oh. It's gonna hurt. Noel is tanky. She's gonna be even more tanky ah. when she evolves. Maybe they don't have a moth. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. There may be one farther up. There you go. No. Oh, oh my god. $26,000. That's because fucking grep came in. That That's another good um, Shit! Re rematch spot. <laughs> you seem to have a lot of confidence. Well, I don't. No. I don't, Ernest. Actually. Ah, I was right. There you go. That motherfucker. It's the only trainer in the whole game that has a moth in. Oh, I reckon we flamethrower. Oh, yeah. It's 25. You're that's dead. You're so dead. It's not even funny how dead you are. Oh god, I have to fight Cyrus. <laughs> Shit. How does... How does Ram Raid evolve? Just level up. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. What level does it evolve? 20-something? 28? 30? Ram Raid Evolution level. Onyx. Crap. 25. Oh, I think it just hit 25. Yeah. Well, shit, here comes Octillery. Yes, oh, let's go! Here comes Octillery. Oh, boy. Razor Leaf. Platinum version Cyrus is a menace. Oh, God. I didn't even want to think about it. No, he has a Houndoom and stuff in Platinum. He doesn't in this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, he hit level 25, so we're getting a... Octillery! Octillery! Let's go! Let's go! This poor Luxio. We're literally about to split the earth. This poor Luxio. He's gonna die. He didn't deserve it. I keep seeing all these fucking like fake leaks about Legend ZA, and everyone is just. You just know it's a load of shit. Like. <laughs> I, I, I like can't. I. I Cause you just know exactly like you just know it's garbage. Yeah. Like, let's go. Let's go. Octopus time. Um, I don't I don't know if you've seen because you you haven't really bit you you're more you you're more linked to the Annie Pokey community than yeah, the general like, Pokemon games, community. Yeah. Um, there's beef dude? between the guy that runs Cerebi and the guy who leaks all the Pokemon stuff. I feel like Joe is always getting beef with someone. The Joe Joe has beef with the Riddler, like Ku the Riddler, the one who like leaks all the stuff, because like someone like Q posted like a leak, mm -hmm. um, and Num Nexus I think was like, uh, I would go Octazuka over Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam and Water Pulse are basically the same thing. Yeah, but uh, sixty-five eighty-five. You can get rid of it. I don't like that. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't like not teaching him his signature move, but that's still not good. <laughs> basically, yeah. Q like Num Nexus. I think it was Num Nexus, or it was someone along that line. What was, the sh <laughs> was like? Oh, um, yeah. Q is literally never wrong, and and then Joe was like, "These are the times that he's been wrong," <laughs> and Q responded basically like. With the attitude, like, you're a bitch. Like, you get yeah. your facts right. Usually like, I do feel like Joe's in the right, but sometimes I feel like he also yeah. can be a bit petty. 
Um, I do feel like he can be a bit petty sometimes. I, I want to read. I want to read you like what he was saying because some of the shit is like, um, yeah. It's it's like, um. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Just some of the shit that they talk about, like that. Who is like super, super, um, like toxic when it comes to, uh, like Joe and everything like that. Mm -hmm. I want to try and find. Oh, oh, let's go. He showed, like, screenshots of, of Joe messaging him, being like, oh, that's kind of cool, like, if the leaks that you're posting are true. Mm -hmm. And Joe being like, I, I don't I don't really, like, follow leaks properly. Um, and it was like, I don't know, the only source for this, it was Hoodlum Callum. Mm. The only source for this is Koo, and I don't trust that guy with anything. Plus, it seems like it's saying not a... The, the original post was, uh, they were saying it's releasing after February. Mm -hmm. Pokemon Legends ZA and everyone was like oh shit it's releasing in February but it says like after yeah it's like plus it seems like it's saying it's not uh, a Feb release but a Feb pre-order and mm. K Callum was like Ku hasn't been wrong though and Merrick was like he has Indigo Disc on Indigo Disc he got a lot wrong he was teasing Universe so heavily leading into the reveal of Legends ZA to the point of implying that we were getting another game this year even in my replies replying it his sources dried up or lied to him you are so funny don't even know we fed and baited our puppy and yourself admit that you are also a puppy that got baited how to explain that you, we are the only source who gave the code name and still remember your source told you 2022 would not have a new generation that's what Q said to Joe and Joe was like, codename had already gone out by the time you tweeted it. I haven't been baited, nice try. <laughs> Your attempts to rear a history are flawed. Also, if you mislead to bait people, if that was the case, it doesn't help your credibility at all. And basically everyone's like, Ku is just responding to everyone being like, Joe is a bitch. He fell for like the shit that I said. We are the like correct leaker. And Joe's like, I, I didn't fall for shit. Like, I love that like he's supposed to be the correct leaker. And yeah. he's like, we tricked him. Yeah. When the information we put out was wrong. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Good I, one. I put out wrong information intentionally to... Just to beat Just Joe. to mess with the guy that runs Cerebi. To try and get him... Like, they've been trying to get him to post, like, leak stuff for ages. To make... Like, to, to constantly try and be like, this is a legitimate... Um, Fuck you! <laughs> this is a legitimate, like, leak. And so they they keep trying to get him to post their stuff, and he won't. So Riddler Koo is like having a go at Joe all the time now. Mm. It's so dumb. Like, I just I just hate that. I I, I hate drama in communities. Damn. It's so annoying. Spider Man meme. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck are you doing here? Sheesh. Sheesh. Um. Me. <laughs> So We've made some solid progress. We've got three gym just, badges. Yeah, let me just beat Cyrus. I can't stop thinking about it. What? Beating Cyrus. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant Perrin. <laughs> oh, yeah, I that can't too. that too, yeah. <laughs> Cyrus. Well, I'm chilling right now. Me too, actually. I'm kind of like... I'm getting there, but also... I'm having fun. Yeah, just vibing. Well, it's, it's f four minutes to midnight. Fuck you, Golbat, you <laughs> stupid ass. Golbat, you Close bitch. Close your mouth. <laughs> it's like, you know when cats yawn and you're like, eh, put your finger in there, like, <laughs> Golbat just like, uh. You could put your whole head in there. <laughs> yeah. You don't want idea. to, though. <laughs> yeah. That's how you lose your head. Yeah. Um, you're so fucked if you do that. <laughs> Smoke ball. I, I'm going to throw it at this kid. I've been really liking playing through this because, like, uh, especially playing through this with you on the on the podcast because I've been struggling the last few months with... So, Pokemon Dude. has always been, like, my hyperfixation. Mm -hmm. um, it's always been, like, the... Here I come, bitch. 
the the franchise I can go back and play whenever I want. Like right. you know, that's always how it's been. And for the last, I want to say like four months, basically since I finished the Smeagol stream, <laughs> that's just kind of coincidental, but not no, not linked. I haven't been able to play through Pokemon games because I'm like, I, I'll either get bored a few bits in, or I'm like, ah, like I can't be fucked. Like I've played this so many times. Yeah. And I've just kind of like, I've not been able to really enjoy the franchise <laughs> as much because I think because as well, like Legend ZA is so far away. Yeah. And they're really not doing a lot in their other games to like, like Scarlet and Violet, they're getting random events every now and then. It's this, it's like. Yeah, and we kind of, we exhausted like the epilogue and the DLC and shit. Yeah. And so for the rest of the year, there's kind of just nothing until Legend ZA launches next year. It's the first time I've ever felt like. A it does feel meh. like a bit drought. Like, yeah. It's a, it's a pretty big drought for Pokemon. Um, and I haven't been able to play through, like, BDSP. Or, like, I've wanted to play through one of them. Probably Henry, right? Like, yeah. Wing Attack with Henry is going to do good damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because whenever I try and do, like, a self-imposed Nuzlocke, I just... Like, I get bored, or I... A yeah. Pokemon will die, and I'm like, ah, fuck. Like... Ah, oh, fuck. Um... But I think, like, record if I record the footage or, like, stream it, I'm more likely to want to play it. I just haven't been able to. Yeah. But, um... Fuck. It's like, like, the challenge runs are a fun way to go about it. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, the challenge runs, especially, like... Because the Nuzlocke, I always kind of... I'm so careful because I don't want things to die. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, um... When you have just, like, a challenge run like that... Yeah. Like, I always wanted... I never went through with it, but I always wanted to try beating X and Y with just Serena's team. Like, with just Breaks in Panchim and uh, Sylveon. Unironically, I did that. Did you A couple really? years ago. Yeah. When I watched... When I was, like, really into the X and Y anime, mm -hmm. I did a playthrough. I got most of the way through, and then I, I stopped... Like, I got up to, like, the sixth gym or something. Mm -hmm. But I went most of the way through. I've also done I one... I it must be possible. I, I just I just stopped because I got, like, uh, I started a Soul Link with some friends on X and Y. Mm. And the copy that I had started the Nuzlocke on, like, the, like so beating Serena with Serena's team was the same copy I was going to do the Nuzlocke on, so I just yeah. restarted. But I did, like... I've done like beating games with Ash's teams or like yeah. that kind of, and that's fun. Um, it's just like, like the older Pokemon games I've played to death, the newer Pokemon games, especially from like the 3DS onwards, this isn't so bad because it is just a remake of an older game, but like the cutscenes and the grindiness of like, like, and how long it takes to get through everything. Like if you want to replay Scarlet and Violet, like oh, yeah. that, and especially with the DLC, that is a long ass game. Yes, it is. Um, oh, fuck. And yeah, I just kind of like, I've been feeling a little like st stagnant with the Pokemon franchise. Fuck. What? Giraffery. Ah. Fuck. Son um, of a bitch. Don't look at me like that, Giraffery. <laughs> but yeah, and so. You want a taste of my psychic powers? Yes! It's raining again. I do, giraffe rig. Oh. Yeah, and just trying I'm to find to ways to, like, make the franchise feel interesting again. Like, one of the things I wanted to do until I sort of stopped streaming was beating, can I, like, 100% every Pokemon game before Legend ZA comes out? Whoa. And I started planning that, and I was like, that is... That's I a do lot. not have the time. <laughs> That's like, a lot. Like, especially 100%ing, like, if I was completing everything, that's different. Yes. But, like, like doing all the side quests in every generation and stuff like that, but not 100%ing every single game. Um, but it's also, Duh. like... So, like, uh, one thing that I was thinking is, like, beating every game, including every spin-off, in release order. Damn. Leading up to the, the release of Legend ZA. Mm -hmm. But I'm also, like... That's a fucking long challenge. Yes. Like, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> like, do we? Uh, I was like, do we get an encounter? No, it's still the same. No. 
We can't get that till we already have waterfall. Houndoom, what are you doing down there? What are you? <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's all two ten. I think. Yeah, it's all two ten. Yeah, all two ten. We okay. Hello, Grandma. Are you here? Ah, oh, are you Grandma? No. What would, what brings you to a place like this? I'm looking for Grandma. Do you have you seen her? Oh, I'm pretty sure we can get glasses, the black glasses from the the top left house. Top left house, here I come. It's like choice. You get diff different types of glasses at different times of the day. It's like that house there. This house. And talk to the dude with the sunnies. No? That guy, yeah. Hey, buddy. Deep man. Well, okay, why is glass? It depends on the time of the day. But why is glasses? Reflect yeah. on what you've learned with night. Boost wise the power glasses. of special moves. Oh. Oh. Well, thank you. I, I didn't know there was some... a mart here. I could use some of this. We have a hundred thousand Damn, I'm Let's fucking go. rich. Yeah. Holy shit. Go buy one of those, like, crazy expensive outfits. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I me, like my me, me and Me and X and Y, like, every Bro. chance I got, I'd just be like, buy, buy, buy. Like, yeah. clothes, like. <laughs> Bro, ever since I was like, oh, man, the girls' fashion choices have are so much better than the boys it's in like, X and Y. It's yeah. ridiculous. And I literally have just played the girl every single generation since then and haven't looked back. Yeah, well, like, the even, like, Scarlet and Violet, like, the fucking... The hairstyles for guys is like five. Yes. And the theme, the hairstyles for women is like thirty. Yes. <laughs> it's like, I do. Only hour younger, I'd punish him with my Pokemon. Shut up, Grandma. I do miss like the full character customization. Like in Scarlet and Violet, like, it was so limited. True. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you kind of had like school uniform, maybe a hat. Yeah, change. maybe a backpack. There was that one Duff Punk helmet. Yeah, <laughs> we could probably teach Noel Shadow Ball and maybe even evolve because I don't, I don't yeah. know, because that would bring Noel sort of up in power level closer to the rest what of the team. Is his lead? I want to say Golbat. Golbat. Okay. Yeah, well, let's do that. Um, she just learned Psy Beam. Yeah, and we, so we've got, if we look at the TMs. Oh, it might not bite. So have a look at your TMs, um, because. There's Shadow Ball. Yeah, Noel learns Shadow Ball. Yep. Yes. Instead of Astonish. Go away. Um, and then Shockwave or like Thunderbolt, if we still have the TMs. I do definitely still have Thunderbolt. I definitely bought it. Yeah, I'm I think it's idiot. just. I'm not a fool. There we go. Is. And then I'll get rid of. Uh, Probably. Confuse Ray is kind of nice, but a little unreliable. Yeah, I I think Confuse Ray because Hex. If you paralyze with Thunderbolt, Hex will do double damage. Yes. All right, let's do the old one two. I think it's in other items. It'll be down the bottom. Wah! Get in here! Yeah, let's go. Here we go. What? She's evolving. Do you know what was like the the most surprising competitive Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet? What? Murkrow. Not Hunchcrow. Murkrow. Hunchcrow is kind of ugly. Murkrow, <laughs> Murkrow has Prankster as its ability, oh. and it gets Tailwind, so priority Tailwind, and like Will-O-Wisp and shit like that. Like, damn. What other? That's kind of correct. What other um, items do you have? Like, you, I'm sure you've got some other held items. Like, what's the odd incense? Mm. Psychic type boost, psychic type moves. Mind plate does the same thing. Spook oh, spooky plate for Noel. Yeah, I actually think I want to give her this now though. Because yeah, because we're we're yeah. going up against that gold bat. Scary. 
spooky scary. Although I don't know if that would beat Thunderbolt. No, I think Thund Thunderbolt would outdo the damage, yeah. even with the... Um... I think it would. So let's give her... Well, there's all oh, wise glasses. Oh, what do those do? I forget. It's, it's like a 10%, 15% boost to all special moves. You like that? Yeah. And you like then that around here? Metronome... Metronome that does more damage the more times you use a move over and over. So like if you're using like flamethrower on everything with buddy or something like that, like mm -hmm. it'll boost the damage each time you use it. Um, that might be good on grep because like earthquake is such a consistent like, yeah. Or s oh, you've got the amulet coin on him. Maybe we'll Henry with close off. combat because you can just like, but, but, but like Blittery you're hitting people. so hard. You also have the fist plate for that too, actually. We might give that to Zoro. Yeah, 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 yeah. 